Hello statistics students. Okay. In this video, we're going to get three things done. We're going to make a scatter plot with some data. We're going to find the correlation coefficient and third, we're going to plot the regression line and hopefully hit a whole bunch of those data points. We'll see. Okay, the data that we're going to use is going to be this data. Feel free to pause the uh, playback of the video and then uh, put these into your calculator right now. Pause. Okay, and so uh, what I'm going to do is show you how to do that. Hit the stat button, go to edit, and then as you can see what I've done here, I'm very clever, I put the data in already. The list one represents the horsepower that you saw a moment ago, and list two represents the gas mileage in miles per gallon. All right, so um, let's see. I want to make a scatter plot of this. So I'm going to hit second and then go to the y equals button. And here are my stat plots. I'm going to choose plot one, my favorite. I'm going to choose, uh, uh, I'm going to select it to be turned on. And the plot type is the one in the upper left hand corner. That's the one I want. That is the scatter plot. X list uh, should be list one already. And if y list isn't specified, put in list two. As far as the marker goes, it's up to you. Either little square, cross, or dot. Uh, it doesn't matter. Now, when I hit graph, nothing appears. That's because I need to set my window parameters. So I'm going to press the window button. Now I noticed that the smallest horsepower value was, um, let me see here, it was 115. So I'm going to make it a little bit smaller than that. I'm going to make it 100. And my x max, I'm going to make it a little bit larger than the s largest value, which was that GMC Yukon. Uh, 300 should be good. X scale, 1 is a bit extreme, so I'm going to go in units of 10. My Y min, let's see, how about I'm going to make it 0. And Y max, I noticed that the largest value was, let's see, 31. So I'm going to make it a little bit bigger than that, 35. And Y scale of 1, uh, that should be okay. Now I'm going to hit graph. All right, so my x-axis represents increased horsepower, and my y-axis represents gas mileage. And it looks like we have a negative correlation. More horsepower, less gas mileage efficiency. That makes sense. All right, so I want to see the correlation coefficient and see how closely these are correlated. I'm going to go to Stat, and I'm going to go to Calc, and I'm going to go to Linear Regression. And I have to explicitly put in list 1, separated by comma, and then list 2. Ah, all right. Well, this tells me the coefficients for a, um, a line that would be plotted through this data, but I don't see the correlation coefficient, r squared and r. How do we fix that? OK, this is how we do it. Press second, and then catalog. Now, this is where we can access any function that's in the calculator. Ooh, ANOVA's in here. That's pretty cool. A little bit on that uh, in the future. So I'm going to notice that the alpha A is selected. If I press a key, it'll go for the alpha letter, and it'll instantly scoot me to the D's here. All right, I'm looking for a function called diagnostic on. This makes me wonder if the, one of the software programmers just called it this for, for jokes. And I execute that, and now it says done. Well, good. Now I'm going to hit stat. I'm going to go over to calc. And I'm going to choose uh, 4 again, linear regression. And i got to say list 1 and list 2. And ba-boom, that's what we're looking for. R is negative 0.87. That would be a negative correlation and a fairly strong negative correlation. All right, well, cool. Now how do we plot this line? I'm going to go here to graph. Now we'd like to see a nice line go through this data. I'm going to go to the y equals and I'm going to put it in y1. Now rather than copy it down, write it down on paper and copy it back, I can access that equation by going to vars, choosing my statistics, number five, and then arrowing over here to eq, my regression equation. It's still stored in the calculator. And there it is. It's been put in to ridiculously precise um, decimal places. Now when I hit graph, ooh, yes, look at that. And it hit several of the data points almost.